أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه الأخيار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أوكي سو وي آر ستيل أون دي الاسم الذي لا ينصرف الغير الغير المنصرف ارى الاسم غير المنصرف او الاسم الذي لا ينصرف او ممنوع من الصرف we are still on the bait the verse of poem that is used to describe what causes a noun to be ممنوع من الصرف what causes a noun not to take tanween because we said a صرف means a tanween and so when we say ممنوع من الصرف اي بمعنى ممنوع من التنوين اي لا ينون it does not take ten win. Okay, and we, we read a, a verse from a poem, one line, that gives us all the factors that when found in a noun, it makes the noun mamunu mina sarf. Okay, and the verse was, again, repetition just to uh, make us, make us um, get the verse again, because we already read it a lot of times. I think it's just in a few previous pages right here. Okay, so it says, اجمع وزن عادلا النث بمعرفة ركب وزد أجمة فالوصف قد كملا And all these are just factors that cause a noun to be ممنوع من الصرف and has been compressed. So اجمع is one factor that we've already looked at. And وزن اجمع was the جمع سيغة منتهى الجموع. Shigat muntaha al-jumu, where we said mafa'il and uh, mafa'il and all that. And wazin, wazin means wazin al-fa'il. If a noun is on the meter of a verb, like ahmadu, akramu, yazidu, and all that. And then we did adilan. Adilan, we said when a noun experiences adil. Adil not to mean justice. Adil means shifting something from his face. Or adil, twisting from a particular face. Twisting from a particular face. That is Adil. And we looked at that too. And then now, inshallah, today we are going to look at, or in this lesson, we are looking at the fourth, which in with the book, Imam says, Rabi'an Anith. So he's explaining the Anith for us. Okay, so we take it from here from to, 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 in today's lesson. He says, Atta'anithu Taratan. التأنيث بمعنى feminizing or feminine because feminine is المؤنث التأنيث is making something feminine which I would like to say feminizing التأنيث تارة يكون بالألف feminizing a word or making a word feminine sometimes is by ألف and this ألف mostly is ألف مقصورة الألف المقصور I'm sure the writer will make mention of that and he says, وَتَارَةً يَكُونُ بِالْتَعْ وَتَارَةً يَكُونُ بِالْمَعْنَى So feminine in Arabic language is either by alif, a word having an alif ending. So the alif too, there are types. Alif maqsura and alif mumduda, which you come and see. And then a word has having tau marbota at the end, the round ta at the end. And then also, a word can be feminine by its meaning, not by any physical sign or any obvious sign, but just by its meaning. That is where we say, مُعَنَّث بِالْمَعْنَى or أَتَّانِيث بِالْمَعْنَى Okay, so it says, فَالْمُعَنَّث بِالْأَلِف The feminine, which is by alif, he says, مَمْنُوء مِنَ الصَّرْفِ That kind of مُعَنَّث is مَمْنُوء مِنَ الصَّرْفِ it does not take tanween. وَلَا يُشْتَرَةُ فِيهِ إِضَافَةُ عَلَمِيَّةٍ And the condition of it being a proper noun is not needed. وَلَا وَصْفِيَّةٍ And the condition of it being an adjective is also not needed. الْمُؤَنَّثُ بِالْأَلِفِ مَمْنُوعٌ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ دَائِمًا If the ten is feminine by the alif, it doesn't, we do, we do not care whether it is a proper noun, whether it is an adjective as we've seen in the previous ones. 
where we talked about the resonant fail if it's um, an alam and all that. This particular mu'annath, when we talk about mu'annath making a noun mu'annath mina sarf, we do not consider whether it is an, a proper noun, whether it's an adjective. So far as it is a word, khalas, it becomes mu'annath mina sarf. He says, well, alif, and this alif we are talking about, imma maksuratun, it is either maksura bimana short, or shortened, wa imma mumdudatun, or prolonged, like Salma. Salma is maksura, is alif maksura. That is the alif you are seeing at the end. That looks like yai without dot. And then we have asma'u. Asma'u. This is what we call mumduda. Al alif li mumduda. Alif that has hamza after it. Kaza, likewise, ashia'u. Ashia'u is also mumduda. And hubla, hubla, that is pregnant woman. Salma is a lady's name. Hubla is uh, pregnant woman. And then it says, uh, hubla is uh, maksura. Maksura. So the alif we have two types. Al alif al maksura or al alif al mamduda. Al alif al mamduda is the one that has alif at the end of a word with hamza following it. Alif and hamza. And also al alif al maksura is the one that looks like yai without dot. Bimana in pronunciation it is shorter than the one with alif and hamza. Okay, it says is then then. Alif ta'nis, the alif of feminizing, mumdudatan, kenet am maksuratan. So this mumdudatan, kenet, this particular kind of sentence, of course we know the mumdudatan, mansub does not really start a sentence like that. Okay, so what it, this sentence really means is, al alif ta'nis, law kenet, wa in kenet mumdudatan. So the alif ta'nis is ismu kena and mamdudatan is khabar kena. We should understand it that way. Like kenat alif ta'nis mamdudatan. That is why this particular kind of um, sentence structure comes like that. Mamdudatan kenat am maksuratan. Okay. Uh, whether this alif is the long one or the short one, it prohibits a noun from taking tanwin. How do you start out to idafa to alemi yetin aw wasfi yetin? Is this is there a condition of it being a proper noun or an adjective? He says la no. Either alifu tanis was we got to muntahal jumu la to start out to fi huma fi hima al alemi yetu aw wasfiya. He says the Alif al-Tanis and Sigat Muntah al-Jumu, which is the Mafa'il or Mafa'il or Fawa'il or Fawa'il. Those two, Sigat Muntah al-Jumu and Alif al-Tanis, do not have the condition of the noun having to be a proper noun or an adjective. Okay. So, Al-Kismu al-Thani, Al-Kismu al-Thani, Min al-Tanis, it says the second Categorization of the Tanis, the second part of the Tanis. He, he talked about the Alif and then he talks about something uh, having Tau Marbut and he talks about being Manawi. So this is the Manawi. It says, At Ta'nithul Manawi. That is a feminine in terms of meaning. Yani, Bimana, Al Ismul Mawdu'a Alaman, Ala Untha. When we say At Ta'nithul Manawi, we mean a now. That Arab used to refer to a feminine, used to refer to a human that or used it as a proper noun to refer to something feminine. And when we, we talk we talk about Tanis Manawi, something that is Mu'annath Manawi, when you hear Al Mu'annath Manawi, we mean anything that has a female reproductive part or a female reproductive system. That is what we call a ta'nith ma'nawi. Okay. Or even a ta'nith al-hakiki. 
that is mostly what uh, said atanithul hakiki something that has the feminine female reproductive system okay so he says what ta'nithul ma'nawiyyu la budda and this feminine in terms of meaning la budda fihi min al-'alamiyya it definitely must be a noun for a proper it should be a proper noun that is what they mean here what ta'nithul lafzi bi ta and ta'nith lafzi we have a ta'nith al-ma'nawi which is feminine in terms of meaning whether the word has a feminine marker or not it is referring to a woman then it is at ta'nis it is mu'annas and then at ta'nis al lafzi is when the word itself has a feminine marker that is it has a feminine symbol whether ta marbut whether alif ta'nis al mumduda or al maksura that is where we see al lafzi the thing has a feminine sign okay says la budda fihi aidan min al alamiyya wala ta'til wasfiyya fihi okay so the the before the tanith manawi can be a factor to prevent a word from taking tanween this word should be alaman it should refer to an alam and when we say alam we mean a proper noun referring to a human or just the definition of proper noun in english it should be a proper noun that when you mention it we know that oh you're talking about this person okay we will see examples to clarify it very well qala ibn malik ibn malik of alfiya has said fa alif at-ta'nith so the alif of ta'nith is feminizing mutlaqan mana fa alif at-ta'nith mutlaqan mana the alif of ta'nith in general or completely prevents sarfa prevents the tanween alladhi hawahu kayfa ma waqa ay alladhi hawahu any word that this atanis this uh, alif tanis affects it prevents us from taking tanween kayfa ma waqa however the word is whether maksuran whether mumduda he says mutlaqan bimana yani maksuratan aw wa mamduda when he says mutlaqan he means alif tanis whether be maksura aw mamduda he says sarfa alladhi hawahu kayfa ma waqa yani sawaa'un waqa alaman so when you have the alif tanis whether the noun is a proper noun aw wasfan or an adjective aw isman jamidan or even a static noun aw ayya shay'in kan or whatever thing it is so far as alif tanis in is in it it prevents it from taking the tanween he says al muannath bi ghayr al alif la budda fihi min idafat al alamiyya the feminine that is with not by the alif definitely must be a proper noun before it is prevented from taking tanween sawa'un kana ta'nithuhu lafziyan whether the tanis is lafziyan that is you can see the tam marbut or you can see a marker a feminine marker around the word aw ma'nawiyan or whether it is just feminine in meaning it it doesn't really have a feminine sign the word itself does not really have a feminine sign but it is feminine we have words like that a lot like ashams ashams you don't really have a feminine sign but it is feminine we say talaat ashams the sun as uh, as reason you make it feminine but it doesn't really have any feminine marker aw lafziyan ma'nawiyan or whether it has both it has the tau marbut and it really refers to a woman or a feminine being so we have three kinds of feminine okay he will explain all that so let's move on says fal muannath bi ghayr al alif so the feminine that is not by the alif la yumna min al sarf illa idha kana alama cannot be prevented from taking tanween except if it's a proper noun wa huwa thalathatu anwa and it is of three types ma'nawiyun wa lafziyun you have those that are in terms feminine in terms of meaning and those that are feminine in terms of word structure wa ma'nawiyun lafziyun and those that are 
Feminine in terms of structure and also refers to a feminine being. Okay, Hassanen. Al qismu sani, the second part, at ta'ni to be al alif. Ta'ni is feminizing not by the alif, not by using alif. Oh, huwa thalasatu anwa. This is just repetition. Lafziyun wa ma'nawiyun. Wa lafziyun ma'nawiyun. So these are the three. Al mu'annas lafzi, al mu'annas ma'nawi. Al Mu'annas loves the Ma'nawi. They are three. Okay. Word like Qatada to Qatada is Murajulin. It's the name of a man. Qatada, we all know Qatada. It's the name of a man. Tolhatu is also uh, a name of a man. One of our uh, bosses is named Abdul Hamid Tolha. So Tolha is a name of a man. It's Murajulin. Mamnu'ani min as أو غير ممنوعان. These two are they ممنوع من الصرف or not? He says ممنوعان للعالمية والتأنيس اللفظي. So the two are prevented from taking تنوين because of what? Because of عالمية. Because they are both proper nouns. They refer to human beings. والتأنيس اللفظي. And at the same time, they are also feminine in terms of structure. You can see the term مربوطة at the end of the two words. Qatadatu wa talhatu. So they are feminine in terms of word structure, and but then they are masculine. They refer to masculine beings. So the fact that they are feminine in terms of word structure, and then they are also proper nouns, this prohibits them from taking tanwin. Yamurru bina kathiran. A lot of times we've read, when you read the Islamic books, you read, An talhata bin Abdullah. When you read about the hadith, when you read about the sirah and all that, you read about Islamic contents, you hear about Antolhata, Antolhata, Antolhata ibn Abdullah. Tolhata, limaza lam nakul. Why didn't we say Antolhati? Why didn't we give it the kasra? It says, لِأَنَّهَا مَمْنُوعَةٌ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ Because it is prohibited from taking tanween. And if you've already, we've already said that. Mamnu min al sarf means that it does not take tanween and at the same time it does not take kesra when it is supposed to be majroor, when it is supposed to take the kesra. It does not take it. There are two conditions that makes it take the kesra, which I think uh, I will need to mention. Mostly they say when it is mudaf and when it has alif el lam, it, it takes the kesra. Okay. But then our author hasn't gotten us. To that place yet, so we move by his steps. Well, mani ulaha min al sarf, and that which prevents talha from taking the kesra and from taking tanwin is al alamiya to what tanis is the fact that it is a proper noun and it is also feminine in terms of. Uh, so he asks, I love the awul manawi. Is it feminine in terms of word structure or feminine really? Is it really feminine? And he says, I love it. It is because of the word structure. Okay. Come to word like Zainabu. Zainabu ismu unsa. Ismu unsa. Loves an awmanan. Is it feminine because of its structure or feminine in terms of meaning? It says manan because of its meaning. It refers to a woman or a lady or girl. Limaza. Why do we say ma'anan? لِأَنَّهُ لَيْسَ فِيهِ تَاءُ التَّعْنِيسِ Because it does not have the تَاءُ التَّعْنِيسِ which is التَّاءُ الْمَرْبُوطَ إِذَنْ Then, زَيْنَبُ مَمْنُوعٌ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ Zainab will also be prevented from taking tanween. فَتَقُولُ So you say عَنْ زَيْنَبَ بِنْتْ جَحْشِ عَنْ زَيْنَبَ بِنْتْ جَحْشٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهَا so we won't say an Zainabin or an Zainabi. An Zainab bin Tijahshin. Radhi Allahu anha. Yedan, al-mani ulaha min al-sarf al-alaminyatu wa ta'nis al-manawi. What prevents it from taking the tanween and also taking the kasra is the fact that it's a proper noun and it is also feminine. Okay. Whereas nouns like Hafsatu, Aishatu, Maymunatu, al-mani ulaha min al-sarf Al-alamiyyatu wa ta'niz al-ma'nawi al-lafzi. The fact that it's a proper noun and it is also structurally feminine. So proper noun plus feminine prevents a noun from taking tanween. 
says qala qailun min an-nas somebody said among people nazartu ila talhatin azimatin so here all this why we've learned that talha is mumnu min as-sarf talha is mumnu min as-sarf and all of a sudden you hear somebody say nazartu ila talhatin azimatin then your exuberance nahu exuberance pushes you to say oh i've gotten somebody mess up with nahu let me just hold the person by the tie so you are all wild let's just become let's become a bit okay and then you read again or somebody says rawaytu an talhata ibn abdullah he says sahihun it is right man ladhi fata fil awwali what is that is missing in the first sentence which is nazartu ila talhatin azim what is missing such that Talha pan that we've learned that all this while Talha does not take Kesra, Talha does not take Tanwin. Now Talha has taken the Tanwin and it is even Kesra. What is missing? And he says that what is missing in Talha is that Fatatil Alamiya, it is not a proper noun in this sentence. Wanahnu nastari tu fil muannati bigayri al alifi an yakuna alaman. And we've already said the condition that. The feminine, the word that is not feminine by alif, al maksura or mamduda, is not mamunu min al sarf unless it is a proper noun. And so, if he says nazar tu ila talhatin, azimatin, bimana he means the tree. You know, talha is the name of a tree. Um, he say uh, what do you call it? Is it acacia or something? Mimosa. Is the mimosa is popular. Mimosa. The tree Talha is Mimosa. That is the singular of Talah. Is it Talha no so? The Talha is the singular. Okay. So in this case, it's referring to the tree. Nazar tu ila Talha ten azimatin. It's referring to the the, the family, the species name of the tree, like uh, um, the general name, kind of. So here, it is not a proper noun for the human so you read it like that okay so it says takulu you say mararutu bi imra'atin qa'imatin mararutu bi imra'atin qa'imatin mararutu bi imra'ata qa'imata these two sentences al awwal sahih the first is the one that is right li'anna imra'atin laysat alaman the word imra'a is not a proper noun qa'imatin wasfun wal wasfu qulna and an adjective qa'imatin is also having ta marbut is muannas and all that but we've said that la yanfa'u bi khilaf wazn al fi'l wazn al fi'l yanfa'u it says the wasfiya is only important when we talked about wazn al fi'l and now having the meta of a verb that is where we say that if the meta comes as an adjective then like we say ahsana ahsana is an adjective get it and it is on the meter of a verb if you use it to describe somebody we don't give it the tanwin that is where al wasf is important but here qa'imatun is also was qa'imatun is a wasf here is an adjective here but we we said that alam proper noun so imra'atun is not a proper noun qa'imatun is not a proper noun in that case, he says, "Wasn't the fail? Yam fa'u fihi al-wasf." It is the wasn't the fail that adjective is important there. Like in the Tanis, la yam fa'u il fihi illa al-alamiyatu fakat. But the Tanis, it's not the wasfiya is not important except the alamiya. Okay, alhamdulillah. Now, khulasa to Tanis, the summary or conclusion of the Tanis. Here, I'm sure it's just a repetition. So we're going to read it very quick. And then we, we just... He says, مَا كَانَ مُعَنَّثًا بِالْعَلِفِ الْمَمْدُودَةِ أَوْ الْمَقْصُورَةِ فَهُوَ مُمْنُعٌ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ سَوَاءٌ أَكَانَ عَلَمًا أَوْ صِفَةً أَوْ إِسْمًا جَامِدًا أَيًّا كَانَ This is a repetition of the sentence we've already read. Okay, that which is a mu'annas, that which is feminine by alif al-mamduda or maqsura. It's mamnu min al-sarf, whether it comes as an adjective, whether it comes as a proper noun, whether it comes as a static noun, or whatever it is. Okay. مَا كَانَ مُعَنَّثًا مِغَيْرِ الْعَلِفَ فَهُوَ ثَلَاثَةُ أَنْوَا 
other than the one that is feminine by alif, then we have three types of feminine. Mu'annasun lafzi, mu'annas ma'anawi, and then we have mu'annas lafzi ma'anawi. So here he says mu'annasun lafzan, mu'annasun ma'anan, wa mu'annasun lafzan ma'an wa ma'anan. Wa kullun yustaratu fihi al-alamiya. And all these three, it should be a proper noun before we apply our mamunumin as-sarf. This detail is very key. وَلَوْ كَانَ غَيْرَ عَلَمٍ فَإِنَّهُ يَنْصَرِفْ سَوَاءٌ كَانَ صِفَةً أَوْ إِسْمًا جَامِدًا If it is not proper now, then it undergoes sarf. It, it will be given the tanween and it will take the kasra. كُلْتُمْ قَبْلَ قَلِيلٍ We've said just a while ago, نَظَرْتُ إِلَى طَلْحَةٍ عَظِيمَةٍ وَرَوَيْتُ عَنْ طَلْحَةَ بْنَ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ كُلْتُمْ إِنَّ هَذِهِ because they have their specific con uh, concept. The way to an talhata, talha here is a human, proper noun. Because that's why it's not giving the tanween. And nazar to ila talhatin, talhatin here is not a proper noun, so it's giving the tanween. Okay. So it's law kul to nazar to ila talhata al karima. Okay, here it should be karima, I think. Wara way to an talhata bin abdullahi, bin ubaidillahi. So hey hun. He says, Nam, Limada, Lianahu al Awal, because the first one, Suara Alaman, Talha is a proper noun. Ila Talhat al Karima, Ila Talhat al Karim. Okay, the first one, uh, here, Lokultu, Nazortu Ila Talhata al Karimi. This is actually the right one. A Talhat al Karima here, giving Talha, giving al Karim Fatha here, is rather the wrong one. Because, well, let's look at the nazartu ila talhata al-karimi. Law kultu nazartu ila talhata al-karimi. I don't know how your print is, but my print here, he says, law kultu nazartu ila talhata al-karimi. Al-karim is taking kesra because it is describing talha, which is supposed to take kesra, but is prevented from taking kesra because it is mamunumina sarf. So al-karim should take the kesra. Because Al-Karim has no reason not to take it. Okay. But in my print, it says, uh, after Rawaitu and Talhat ibn Ubaidullah, Suhih, Naam, Limaza, Lianahu al-awwala suara alaman ila Talhat al-Karima. Here he says Al-Karima. And I think that is khata uh, matba'i, a printing mistake. Ma'anahu rajulun idan. Then here he means... Uh, Uh, says mana hurajulun. It means a man actually. What talhata here is referring to a man. Isn't who alamun? Then it is a proper noun. Like in it taanithu. But then the feminine lavziyun aw manawi. The feminine in talha is it lavzi aw manawi? Lavzi, of course, because of the tamar boot. Call Allah Ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said. إن الله يأمركم أن تذبحوا بقرة إن الله يأمركم أن تذبحوا أن تذبحوا بقرة الله سبحانه وتعالى قدس يتسلط أكاو. he says مصروفة أم غير مصروفة the word بقرة we can see that it has تام مربوط is مؤنث but is it مصروفة أو غير مصروفة has it been given تنوين or not says وكل من هو he says مصروفة it has been given the tanween. Wa kullu munawwanin masrufun. Anything that is given tanween is masruf. Limaza surifat ma'a annaha mu'annasa. Why was it given tanween even though it's feminine? Lafzan wa ma'anan. It's feminine in terms of the word structure and it is also feminine in terms of meaning. Li annaha laysat alaman. Because simply because it's not a proper noun. This detail is key again. وَنَحْنُ نَسْتَرِتُ فِي التَّعْنِيزِ بِغَيْرِ الْعَلِفِ أَنْ يَكُونَ عَلَمًا This is a repetition. لَوْ سَمَّيْتَ إِبْنَتَكَ If you should name your daughter بَقَرَةَ If you name her بَقَرَةَ يُمْنَعُ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ In that case, it becomes مُمْنَعُ مِنَ الصَّرْفِ Because now بَقَرَةَ You've picked it from not being a proper noun to becoming a proper noun. فَتَقُولُ مَثَلًا So you say for example نَزَرُتُ إِلَى بَقَرَةَ بِنْتِ بَكِرٍ You say I looked at بَقَرَةَ Bint Bakr now is a name of a woman. Sohihun. Is it right? Naam. 
لأنها عالم بكوس بابانا ونظرت إلى بقرة ملك زيد and I looked at a cow here it is a cow so it's not a proper noun I looked at a cow milk is aid in a kind of Zay's property Zay's Zayd own it so he's talking about a cow here it's not a proper noun إذن أكرم تبقرة بنت بكر وحلبت وحلبت بقرة ملك زيد so first sentence أكرم تبقرة بقرة here is a proper noun it's alam and it is also مؤنس لفظي حكي لفظي مؤنس لفظي معنوي was referring to a lady بنت بكر the daughter of بكر وحلبت and I milked بقرة a cow ملك زيد that is for زيد صحيح صحيح yes الأول غير منون the first one is not منون والثاني منون لأن الأول عالم because the first one is a proper noun والثاني غير عالم and the second is not a proper noun okay الحمد لله we've come to the end of the anith inshallah we will see the rest uh, in our next lesson may Allah grant us uh, beneficial knowledge always that's what we seek for get beneficial knowledge and also uh, may our knowledge benefit the ummah at large اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين يا رب موسى وهارون ويسى محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أكرمنا بقوة الحفظ والفهم والمعرفة والحكمة